Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to Planet Zoo! I had a bit of advice from a viewer, Rebecca Donadon, last uh, episode, and she gave me a few tips that I'd like to share with you guys. I was correct in later assuming that it would be easier to place the paths down uh, while, like, place the path first and then the building so that I don't get this ugly, horrible garbage. So I know that now, and I will do that again in the future. Also, she pointed out that there are actually employee paths. There we go, staff paths. This will make it so that our guests can't go this way, which is good because we don't want our guests to look at this, at the ugly stuff here. Let's see, can I, nope. All right, so I can't actually change these paths. I was hoping that it would maybe let me, like, you know, just kind of upgrade it or whatever. So that's not a thing, but I don't need to have this huge wide road here, I don't think, if um, we're just putting a staff path down, because they're not going to have a high amount of traffic. I, I don't know how this is going to look good here with all this stuff going through here, but let's just give it a try. Okay, there we go. So that's another thing, I guess. Um, if you have your length long enough, then it might allow you to, like, kind of run it past the buildings like I did just there. I put the length on the maximum. Okay, well, again, that still looks like complete and utter garbage, but right now I'm just trying to get the hang of things. This is going to be my last day that I get to play the beta before it comes out on November 5th. Depending on how this episode goes though, I may end up recording a second one right in a row so that I can release another video for you guys. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And the last tip she gave me is that when I was mentioning like, oh, they're, they seem to be giving me a lot of money for how ugly my zoo is and Rebecca says that they will give us more money if we have better scenery and decorations and apparently the larger the zoo the higher the scenery expectations so that's interesting and I'm glad that's a thing because that's one of my main complaints about Planet Coaster is like lack of management there like a uh, uh, on the simulation side you know so one other thing I noticed here by clicking on our little African wild dogs is they have animal ratings which I'm not sure yet at this point in time exactly what that means um, I mean obviously it's like oh probably something such as the higher the rating the more money you'll get for selling the animal or trading the animal but I don't know at this point like what actually allows them to increase in their in their quality like if they're happy for a long enough time or if it's like the adults are the only ones like they can't change their star rating and so it's only if they have offspring that they get better but I don't know we'll we'll see I didn't pay attention to whether or not these were both one or two star when I bought them. I'm also not entirely sure like what the animal rating does. Does that mean the guests will actually give us more money based off of like how cool these animals are? There's a lot of things that I'm curious about that unfortunately I haven't done like a huge amount of research, but I'm definitely gonna be doing that between now and when the game actually releases and I will hopefully learn enough information that I can maybe uh, edit and release a 10 tips video for you guys by the time the game comes out. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, for now, this enrichment is super low and it seems like we have to research if we want to get them the right toys. I hope that's even something that we can do. like. I don't know if, like, I don't know if we can research that for all the animals in this beta or anything like that. So I guess we'll just go ahead and open up vet research here. This is probably what we're going to want. Like, I don't think we need to worry about the diseases for now. 
So let's put a researcher on that one. And I couldn't tell from the last game. Okay, it does look like we can research more than one thing at a time. But maybe, did that slow down this other one? No. Okay. Cool. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure how we figure out which of these diseases we want to research first because, man, there are a lot of diseases. So that's another thing I'm going to have to figure out whether it's like, oh, your animal has this disease, so now do you want to research how to get rid of it? I'm not sure. So this is a really huge area, I feel, for our animals. I wonder if there's a way that we can find out just how big... They're... Okay, here we go. So the land area is 2,600 meters squared, and I think it's the 1,254 is their minimum. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely bigger than they need. I could potentially make it smaller, or else maybe we can find some more of these African wild dogs to purchase. Right now I only have male African wild dogs, so we can't have any offspring. Um, let's see here. African wild dog. Ah, there's a female. Ooh, but we would have to buy her with the cons conservation points. Maybe that's... Hmm. Definitely don't have enough of those conservation points. So we're just gonna buy this one for now. Can we see what their quality is? Compare mates. Oh, okay, interesting. So here's our little interface for the potential offspring that they could make, but obviously we can't make offspring because all we have are boys. Okay, well, I'm just gonna buy a third one right now, I guess? Just because we have such a huge area, and we might as well populate it with another animal until we can get a female. So, we'll adopt that, and then we're gonna build... Why isn't this working? Come on. There we go. We're gonna build an area for another type of animal and actually try and purchase them with the conservation credits and see how that goes. So let's find out what we want first based on the price. Oh wow! Okay, there's some that are really cheap I guess. But again, it's only the male peafowls. I wonder if we can... Can I just search this here? Or do I have to actually... Yeah, I don't see a search bar anywhere. That's annoying. I want to get to the Indian peafowl. Oh my gosh. Because, like, that showed me by price, but I'm just curious if there are more... Oh, wait. There we go. I was going to say, there has to be something here. Indian peafowl. Okay. There you go. Well, let's double check the African wild dogs then again, too. I don't think there's going to be a female that we can... Oh, wait. There is. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Uh, can I... Why can I not select this? There we go. Seems to be a little buggy here. So I'm going to adopt this female for gold or cash, whatever if the button will work. And then we'll see if if they have offspring. So I realize that we can't get the conservation points by releasing the ones that we buy for money, but maybe we can release the ones that like they have as offspring. So we'll find out. A quick trade, you know, I might actually do that because I'm going to try and, and put this back. I know we have, I know we'll, we'll be at a bit of a loss for that, but we already have two males and one female, so I don't want to just like have way too many males. You know, we could potentially have the other way around. Better to have more females than males due to gestation periods. 
But we're just going to try using the one for now and see what happens if we can make some baby wild dogs. How is our researching going? Oh, that seems quite slow. I could have sworn that I had researched this already last episode, but I'm not sure what happened with that. Maybe I accidentally just did the disease research. Uh-oh. Power source failing. Oh, okay. That's what mechanics are for, then. Do we have a mechanic? I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. We can have mechanic research, too. Oh, okay. So this is how we research, like, the stuff for our zoo. Like, rides and power. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Let's check out our staff here. We do have a mechanic. What are you doing, Marcia? So she, I guess, is just walking really slowly. Are you injured? What's the deal? Why are you walking so slow? Okay, vet research is complete. You have discovered three items over one species. Awesome. Oh, I see now. Okay, so each of these is a research level. All right, good to know. So we'll just automatically start researching the next one, it seems. All right, let's see if we got anything special for our doggos here. Hey, look at that. Looks like we got some fun for them. Oh god, okay. That was like super dark for a second there. I didn't know what happened. Uh, okay, so enrichment has gone up a bit. So we have toy enrichment. Now we just need food enrichment. Oh my gosh. Yes, go play in the sprinkler. That's adorable. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's watch this. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's see how our cash flow is doing. We're actually getting quite a bit here from just these one dogs. I hope it gets a little harder later on. Like, I'm, I'm fine with it being a bit easy right now because I'm still kind of learning the game, but I don't want it to be stupid easy because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not near as good at like the the building all the super beautiful stuff like all these master builders are in planet coaster and i would rather like i don't i don't mind building my zoo from scratch and all that um but i'm a big fan of the whole starting from nothing and becoming something so that's what i hope i can do with this game all right, so we're just going to have to wait for them to research some more food enrichments. How about we just go ahead and buy or check out what we need for the peafowl. Why is our power source still failing? What is our mechanic doing here? Maybe she just needs to be in a zone. Um, let's move her over here and see what happens. There we go. All right, we're probably going to have to assign an area to the staff members. Oh, okay. That's right. We should probably then... We should probably turn this into the employee uh, path here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait, why did that not work? Hmm. Oh my gosh, this looks like garbage. I really, 
am not a fan of the path making stuff in this game. I'm like, come on guys, you you haven't figured out a better way to go about this since the last game? Like, why does it still suck so bad? There needs, I don't know, there needs to be more control over it than just leaving it to automated, I wish. Or an option to turn it on or off or something like that. Oh my gosh! I'm a huge derp. I guess we have to actually put a path. Oh, okay, that's weird. We have to put the path up to the transport. Um, so if we turn this, there we go. Let's see if that works now. Okay, cool. Now our mechanic is going to the repair facility. Uh oh, wait. Why did this person... Why are they carrying a box? Wait, what's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you carrying our animal right now? Yeah, that's right, like... What happened to our female that should have been added in transit to veterinary surgery. Oh! Oh no! Looks like our animal got injured or something. Oh no! Well, we did get our female put in here, so that's good news. Alright, anyway. Well, in that case, I'm glad that this person is running to make sure that our animal gets taken care of as quickly as possible. Wait, why are you going too? What's the matter with you? Maybe they just all have to go for a vet checkup? Also, I'm realizing now maybe my uh, path choices are not the best right here because they're running all the way over to this end and then they have to run all the way over here to the employee building. So we'll have to take care of that at another time, but this park is just kind of a throwaway park for me to play during the beta and get used to everything, so I'm not going to be terribly worried about it right now. Oh, inspector event. Leaving zoo. Habitat 1. Target list. Scene. Bolade. Is that the name of one of our dogs? Yeah, okay. That's weird. That's a very... Low quality bar. I just need to see this animal. That's it. Okay. Let's check out our Animalpedia. Where is that? Zoopedia. And see what the Indian peafowls need. Natural habitat. 312 meters squared. Okay, so very, very small. Especially compared to what we have they like to be in groups of 5 to 20, up to 4 males, up to 16 females. Okay. So. We'll want to buy a whole bunch of those. Let's just put them down over here. We're going to... Oh, look at that. We have different barriers, too. Cool. We must have researched that, I guess? Let's do these hedges, because I saw in that tutorial thing, it was kind of cool seeing the hedges for the peacocks. I thought that was kind of nice. We're not going to do anything terribly fancy here. Just make like a little oval-shaped thing. It'll probably be big enough. kind of ugly, but what can you do? Okay, so we want a habitat gate. And a path for our employees. There we go. I wish there was a way for me to check the square footage of a habitat zone before putting our animals in there, but we're just going to have to see how it goes. Okay, time to buy some peafowls. 
And this time, let's use our um, conservation points. Uh oh. Oh no, not stored animals. Market. We'll use our conservation points so that we can sell them for more conservation points. Okay, so we'll adopt like. Come on. This game is so laggy and annoying. I wish it would uh, actually click the button. Yeah, see, it's like trying to connect every time I do that since this is online mode. We'll put you in there and. What? Oh, that's my my animal center. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can buy all these because look at that, the filter resets every time I click on it, so that's a little bit annoying. Oops, not Indian elephant. <gasps> oh, I want elephants though! Yes! That would be fun. I bet they're gonna cost a little bit more than these peafowls so. though. Oh wow, these are pretty old already. I can't remember what the lifespan was that it said. But we might want to be careful with that fertility gene. Oh, she's not very fertile, huh? Boo. Well, she's like the only female that that's this cheap, so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and adopt her. Okay, let's try and get somebody a little younger here. Like, how about this guy? Seems like I have to click on this like 10 times in order for it to actually purchase. Uh, okay, we're gonna change this sex to female because it seems like we just have a whole bunch of males showing up right now. Okay, there we go. I don't know yet what the importance is of these ratings, probably how valuable their offspring is gonna be and how much money they bring us in. So since she's not that much more expensive, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one. Okay, our vet, vet research is complete here. Some more items. Ah, uh, and now we can research the peafowl. Did that actually... Why isn't that working? There we go. That's weird. Okay, did we get any more... Foods. Ah, yay! This looks like food enrichment, correct? We'll put two of those in there. Oh. Yeah, okay, I did buy that other one. And now let's see how happy our doggos are. Hi. Yay! Enrichment, 91%. Nutrition, not very good meal. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that another time. For now, let's get the rest of our peafowls in here. I want to see if she has a, or he has a social requirement. Okay, social group, too few adults in animal social group. Cool, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and move all of our, oops, animal trade center. Is that where they're stored? Yeah, okay. Oh, we bought way more than I thought. That's okay. Come on. I thought I could select more than these, more than one of these at a time. What happened? Hmm. That's annoying. Okay, finally got all those placed. That was a little annoying. I could have sworn we could actually select more than one of these at a time to transfer them, but I guess not. All right, well anyway, clearly our peafowls are not very happy right now because, well, I mean, would you be happy living in this habitat? I certainly wouldn't. But that is going to be something that we will do next episode, making sure these adorable little peafowls have a better habitat than they currently do. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.